Hey, this is Craig from Ant Radio and welcome. We're having a look at the photorealistic design on wood. And hopefully if you've bought this and you've opened your PSD, this is what you're looking at in Photoshop. What's key is this uh, artwork here in this layer, this green layer. That means it's editable. If you double click on this little window, you get the smart layer open up to a smart object. And in here is the um, sample artwork that I've left in. You'll see it's gradient and flat vector objects. Um, now, let's do a live demo with a piece of artwork which I've made here in InDesign. Very simple. I'm just going to cut and paste that into the smart layer, to the smart object. Here we go. And now I'm just going to hide the smart layer instead of closing it. And I need to just save. Okay, so Photoshop does everything else. It applies the background shadow, uh, it applies the bevel on it. Um, but what it hasn't done is change the color at all. So that's on purpose, of course, so that your artwork remains true to its color. So let's have a look at these purple layers here. This first one here is uh, to show you how it looks in a, with a wooden texture. And that's pretty much it. You just click the button and immediately you can see how it looks in wood. Or uh, click this one here. This is the flaky metal. And these are all um, from real photography, uh, high-res photography of, uh, of these textures. Uh, you can even um, change the opacity of these layers. Uh, why is this? Why is he singing while I'm trying to talk? Okay. Okay, so this is a metallic, uh, cloudy, reflective layer. Uh, it works very nicely on this wooden background. And the next one is simply a smoother version of that um, same metallic background. 4,000 pixels wide, which means you have plenty of resolution to, to do web work um, and print as well. If you simply want to take this artwork and place it into a uh, into a press ad or a layout. Okay, so let's just have another look at what we can do with this. Um, I'm going to double click on that smart layer again. Here we are. And uh, here I'm just showing you um, a version of the same artwork, but with texture applied to it. So very simply, all I did was select that orange area, had some noise and uh, dodged a little bit in the highlights to get a gradient onto it. So let's just hide that over here and let's save it. A smart object does its work. There we go. You can also switch the uh, shadow layer off here. Okay, and of course what you've done is save this file the one that you've bought as a new name, so that every time you have an effect on it, you have your own PSD. All right, so I want to just click on the smart layer again. Let me switch off these effects. Um, click on this green layer again to open up our smart one. Okay. So this is just to show you um, another cool aspect of this is typography you're looking for an interesting type treatment for your editorial, uh, perhaps an, a headline for an ad or a brochure uh, or a presentation, website. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just adding another layer at the bottom here of our smart object, just so that I can see what we're doing. All right, and I'm just using a gray, gray text, your type design here, there we go. Switch that off, otherwise, of course, it won't work. It must have a clear background. Okay, there we go. And we press save. All right, and the smart object does all the work for us. And hey, there it is. Pretty cool. Okay, very nice uh, drop shadow on it. Um, this will obviously work in any color that you use. So it's really up to you to see what looks cool. Um, obviously with or without the shadow, it just gives a different feeling to it. And then of course you've got your textures that just work immediately. Now, if I look at this one here, I find that the um, flaky paint is a little uh, busy for that sort of 
typography. Um, but if we look at it with bigger type, uh, I think you can see that it works very nicely. And um, that's why for me, I would keep it as big as simply designs when it comes to typography using this. And let's just see the metallic effect. So this would be great with things like badges, uh, logos. All right, and that's it. So any design, bold, simple, typography, you can try something really intricate. And of course you can get rid of that background and the shadow. Um, let's say you wanted to just use this effect on some type that you want to use in a, a magazine background. Uh, I'm just going to use this dark brown background here just to give an idea. Just switch that, that uh, texture off. There we go. Nice, simple, clean 3D feel to your type in seconds. All right, have fun, enjoy. So uh, please don't forget to comment if you enjoyed this video. It's the first of many, I'm sure. Um, in fact, this is the first video I've made. It's been a lot of fun. Um, go and check out Ant Radio at Envato.com and uh, I'll put the link at the bottom here and uh, have a look at the other products that I've made. Enjoy. Cheers. Thank you.